Picture this, a sultry summer evening, the air thick with secrets and anticipation. The year is 1959, and you find yourself in the dimly lit embrace of a movie theater, the flickering screen casting a hypnotic spell. Suddenly, last summer unfolds before your eyes, a cinematic masterpiece that etches itself into your memory like a haunting melody. The film, with its gripping narrative and mesmerizing performances, took you on a journey to the depths of human emotion, leaving you with a profound sense of introspection. As you sat there, the vivid imagery of the Deep South and the enigmatic characters held you captive. Elizabeth Taylor's luminous beauty and Montgomery Clift's tormented brilliance transported you to a world where tragedy and desire danced a dangerous tango. The echoes of searing dialogues and the haunting, sun-drenched landscapes lingered long after the credits rolled. Suddenly, Last Summer was more than just a movie. It was an experience that made you question the intricacies of the human psyche. Now, let's delve into some fascinating facts about this cinematic gem, uncovering the hidden layers that make it a true classic. So, dear reader, fasten your seatbelts as we journey back to 1959 and unravel the mysteries of Suddenly, Last Summer, a story of passion, deception, and the shadows of the past all impeccably woven together on celluloid. It's time to let the secrets spill and the truth unfurl. Let's embark on this adventure. Tennessee Williams discontent with Suddenly, Last Summer in 1959. The film adaptation of Tennessee Williams' play, Suddenly, Last Summer, stirred controversy not only among audiences, but also within the playwright himself. Williams was no fan of the movie and strongly disapproved of the way his material was reworked. The film's creative liberties and changes to his work left him deeply dissatisfied. The film featured Montgomery Clift in a demanding role, which posed a significant challenge for the actor. Clift's struggles on set were well documented, leading to the need to film many of his scenes in small increments. This approach frustrated director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, who repeatedly lobbied producer Sam Spiegel to dismiss Clift from the project. The clashes between the actor and director became a notorious aspect of the film's production. Furthermore, the film received harsh criticism from John Wayne in a 1960 interview. A Hollywood legend referred to suddenly, last summer as poison polluting Hollywood's moral bloodstream, and deemed it too disgusting even for discussion. Wayne's strong words added fuel to the fire of controversy surrounding the film, further dividing opinions on its content and execution. In summary, suddenly, last summer was a film marked by controversy. Playwright Tennessee Williams expressed his discontent with the adaptation, Montgomery Cliff's demanding role led to on-set tensions, and John Wayne's scathing criticism added to the divisive reception of the film. These aspects contribute to the enduring legacy of the movie, reflecting the challenges and conflicts that emerged during its production. In 1959, the movie suddenly, last summer brought together a star-studded cast. But behind the scenes, there was drama as intense as the story on screen. While there's not enough substantial information available to confirm the details of the claims regarding Katherine Hepburn's reaction to the treatment of Montgomery Clift, or the rivalry between Elizabeth Taylor and Katherine Hepburn for the Best Actress Academy Award, there is one notable fact. Peter O'Toole, who would later gain fame for his role in Lawrence of Arabia, had a disastrous screen test during the making of Suddenly, last summer. The test went so poorly that the producer, Sam Spiegel, who also produced Lawrence of Arabia, wanted nothing more to do with O'Toole. This interesting twist of fate played a pivotal role in O'Toole's career trajectory. While the movie may not have left us with scandalous anecdotes or Academy Awards, it did mark a turning point for Peter O'Toole, whose name would soon be synonymous with the epic tale of Lawrence of Arabia. Sometimes, even a failed screen test can lead to greatness in the world of cinema. In 1959, the movie Suddenly, Last Summer made waves in Hollywood. One remarkable aspect of its production was the involvement of Montgomery Clift, who was battling alcoholism and prescription drug abuse. Due to his chronic health issues, Clift was deemed uninsurable. In normal circumstances, he might have been replaced, but Dame Elizabeth Taylor, a close friend, stood firm. She insisted on Clift's presence in the film, declaring that she would not do the movie without him. This act of loyalty saved Clift's job and cemented the bond between the two actors. Vivian Lee, on the other hand, was initially offered the role of Violet Venable. 
However, she turned it down, paving the way for Katherine Hepburn to step into the character. This decision led to a different dynamic within the film, and ultimately contributed to the movie's unique appeal. During the movie's production, Dame Elizabeth Taylor, who had recently been widowed, delivered a climactic monologue as Catherine Holly. She reportedly channeled her own emotions about her husband's death to deliver a compelling performance. Remarkably, Taylor managed to complete the monologue in a single take. The raw emotion she poured into the scene left her unable to continue as she couldn't hold back tears. In conclusion, suddenly, Last Summer was not just a film, but a canvas for the personal struggles and relationships of its cast. The loyalty of Elizabeth Taylor, the casting choices, and the emotional depth of the performances all played significant roles in shaping the cinematic classic. According to Mercedes McCambridge, she wrote to the London set of the 1959 movie Suddenly, Last Summer in the same car as Montgomery Clift. Clift always insisted that the driver stop by Wormwood Scrubs prison so that he could scream out the car window at the convicts behind bars. This anecdote sheds light on the eccentric behavior of one of the movie's stars, giving us a glimpse behind the scenes. Director Joseph L. Mankiewicz later admitted that he thought the source material was badly constructed and based on pop psychology. This candid revelation by the director offers insight into his perspective on the film's foundation, suggesting that there were creative challenges in adapting the play to the big screen. If the fates allow, inside a library at St. Mary's, an obscured Latin quotation is etched into the stone on the mantel. The haunting translation of CQVA Fod Ascendant adds a layer of mystery and foreboding to the film's atmosphere, hinting at the themes of fate and destiny that are prevalent in Suddenly, Last Summer. In summary, Suddenly, Last Summer is not just a classic film, but a production filled with intriguing behind-the-scenes stories and cryptic symbolism. These tidbits of information offer a deeper understanding of the film's context and the people involved in its creation. As we draw the curtains on our discussion of the 1959 cinematic gem, suddenly, last summer, I invite you to take a moment to immerse yourself in the echoes of its intriguing narrative. The visceral intensity of the film, the raw emotions it unravels, and the enigmatic characters that grace the screen are a testament to the power of storytelling through the lens of the great silver screen. This film, born in a different era, still resonates with us today. The themes it explores, love, secrecy, and the intricacies of human nature remain timeless. In the flickering light of your memories, consider the impact suddenly last summer has had on your own journey through cinema. Did it stir your emotions, make you ponder the depths of the human psyche, or perhaps bring you to the shores of introspection? In the world of film, every viewer's experience is a unique masterpiece, much like the film itself. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, profound reflections, or favorite moments from this cinematic treasure. Let your voice become a part of the ongoing narrative of this remarkable creation, for your insights, however brief, can inspire others to view the film in a new light. Thank you for investing your time and interest in this cinematic journey. It's been a pleasure to explore the world of Suddenly, last summer with you, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until next time, keep the love for film alive, and remember that every story has its unique chapter, including the one 